The Mullins had a daughter. It was hers. Had one? I think she died. And I think that was her playing the music, too. Lisa and Lulu, welcome to Arizona to tell my audience all about this very scary movie, Annabelle Creations. And just the title kind of tells us it's a, what they say, prequel. Uh, goes back to the beginning, am I right? Yeah, it's like the origin story. The origin, it right. It really should be the first Annabelle, technically, and then <laughs> Annabelle 1 should be Annabelle 2. That's right, and, and I did the junket for Annabelle, the original Annabelle, uh, wow. and, and I have the doll. <laughs> the Annabelle doll, but I keep her locked up in my closet, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> kind of scary. You know? Smart the movie, is, it, it goes back to the 1940s when Annabelle was created. Uh, did you have to learn anything about that period? It was actually, I think, the 1950s, right? Yeah. Was it 1950s? It was 1950s. Yeah. I think it was 1958, to be specific. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did some research. I couldn't really find, like, a lot online. Yeah. But um, honestly, just reading the script and being on set and dressing like the character actually helped me the most than doing any research at all. Mm -hmm. Especially, especially the set in the wardrobe because the set was very realistic and right as you st stepped into the door of this great huge house you felt like you have traveled through time into the yeah, 50s. I can imagine. Now you're you're uh, two members of a, six girls, orphans that are going to go to this house with the with the nun, with the sister who's kind of your guardian and teacher. I felt that the house itself as you just mentioned is a character. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The house. <laughs> it plays a big part a in big the movie. A big part, yeah. 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 And it's actually a very beautiful house. If it wasn't, like, if there and weren't scary. demons in the yeah. house, I would want to live there. I think it's yeah. gorgeous. But while we were filming, it had an eerie feel. Yes, definitely. Speaking of filming it, you had to work with braces? Yes, I did. And you had to ride this creepy elevator chair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that fun or hard? It was actually very fun. I mean, the leg brace was definitely work. I mean, it was hard filming with a leg brace. I practiced walking around the house with a cane and just trying out different things without my leg. And it's just, it's really hard to move, mm. let alone run as the character. So when I was filming, it was definitely difficult, but it was a good challenge because I wanted to do something different. Well, you and do just... it well, you really do. And Thank Lulu, you. Scary movies are good for your career, aren't they? <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you they, like them? They're so much fun because, um, especially for a child actor because you can experience things from great joy to great sadness yeah. and all the emotions in between and you get to use parts of your creativity and imagination that you might not be willing to use otherwise or might just look past. In the Conjuring movies and the original Annabelle, strange things happened on the set. Yeah. Did you hear about that and did you have anything happen unusual? No, we Nothing didn't. Happened, <laughs> but I did but read about some things that happened on Conjuring 1 and on Annabelle 1. And some of the stuff was pretty freaky. I was a little relieved that we didn't have anything happen. We didn't have that. anything like that. But we, we also <laughs> had the set blessed. So we did. That probably. Yeah. Well, that helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll take my Annabelle out after I've seen this movie. You <laughs> don't, don't miss Annabelle Creations. Believe me, if you want to be scared, you're going to be.